Hi guys, it's Lizzie from the Academy team and this is the Sony FE 16-25mm f2.8 G lens. With its constant f2.8 aperture, superb quality G glass and small compact form, the Sony FE 16-25mm f2.8 G fits really nicely into Sony's lineup of wide-angled zooms. Compact in size and weighing in at just 409 grams, it becomes a smart choice for stills and video shooters alike. Construction-wise, it's dust and moisture resistant, features an 11-blade circular aperture for some rich and beautifully smooth bokeh. We've got two linear motors and internal focusing, offering you fast, precise and quiet autofocus for both stills and video. Speaking of video, the lens supports dynamic active and active mode image stabilization, as well as being compatible with the breathing compensation function found in some Alpha series bodies. It's also fluorine coated on the front element to effectively repel any water or oil-based grime that might end up on your lens, and features high close-up performance with a minimum focus distance of 0.18 meters using the AF. We've got all the controls you'd expect to see, your focus mode switch, focus hold button, which you can assign your preferred functions to, focus ring, zoom ring, aperture control ring, and the option to turn off the click stops if you're after seamless control. So that's all the specky stuff done. Now let's see what it's like to use. We're definitely going to be up against the weather today so I have tried to pick somewhere which is a little bit more sheltered from the wind so that I can actually talk to you before we head off somewhere else to capture something maybe a little bit more scenic. One of the first things that's quite noticeable about this lens when you see it is its size and Sony definitely weren't lying when they said that it was compact. In fact, it's actually quite a bit smaller and lighter than the 16 to 35 mil f 2.8 G Master and that's both the Mark 1 and the Mark 2. It's also a smaller diameter to the 16 to 35 mil f 4 Zeiss and the 16 to 35 mil G f4 power zoom too so if you are looking for a lens which gives you that mobility and is super travel friendly then the 16 to 25 mil f 2.8 g lens is just that and it fits really nicely into sony's wide angled zoom offering While this lens is perfectly suited to stills photography and I am going to be taking my fair share of photos with it today, I did also want to mention that it performs brilliantly as a video lens. So I've got it paired with the A7C Mark II and where it's so small and lightweight, this is kind of the perfect combination if you want to shoot a lot of run and gun style video content or if you want to do vlogging without needing arms of steel and Look at all this background I can fit in. It also pairs itself really nicely with Sony's latest standard zoom lens, the 24 to 50 mm f 2.8 G. Where they're both a similar size, weight, and with the internal focusing, if you do a lot of gimbal work, then you can chop and change between the two without spending a lot of time rebalancing. If you want to find out more about the Sony FE 24-50mm f2.8 G lens, then there's a link in the description below to our first look video.
I do really love the versatility of a lens like this where we've got that 16mm super wide which is perfect for your sweeping landscapes, architecture, property, shooting an entire giraffe etc and then at the other end of the scale we've got that 25mm which is perfect for capturing the everyday and travel. And pairing that with that constant f2.8 aperture not only does that give you a lot of creative freedom but it's also perfect for adding that storytelling element to your images or video if you'd like to find out any more information on the sony fe 16 to 25 mil f2.8 g lens then head on over to jessops.com now or pop into your nearest store where one of our experts will be more than happy to help i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have don't forget to give us a like hit subscribe and smash that bell icon so you can stay up to date on all of our latest content that's it from me thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you on the next one bye